Good day, beloved. I believe our day has been wonderful. The name of the Lord be exalted in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We talk about a topic that I, that I titled, Are You a Christian? We are looking at how a Christian should behave. What are the characteristics of a Christian? So that when we attain that level and we are proud to be called a Christian, we have the right to operate in jubilee. We, we think like Christ. We talk like Christ. Christ is our leader. We are the follower. We he instruct. We obey. He asks. We do. He demands. We we meet the demand by His grace. That is a Christian. And we looked about the characteristics of a Christian. And we read from the book of Acts of Apostles chapter nine, where it talks about we should how we should love, how we should behave to one another. Today we are going to another characteristics of a Christian. It is under the title, Are You a Christian? Beloved, it is meant for us to check ourselves so that we have everything we need to be a Christian. That when our master comes at the trumpet sound, we are going to meet him in disguise. You and I will not meet this opportunity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jubilee is in Jesus. So if you are not in Jesus, you can't enter into Jubilee. And you need to walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. In the book of Acts of Apostles, it was said by Jesus Christ that how he was anointed with Holy Spirit and power, and he went about doing good. He was anointed with Holy Spirit and power. He didn't just put it, put it on his shoulders and went to sit down somewhere, and people were coming to bow at his feet. He went about doing good. He, was, he moved from one place to the other, looking for people to release preaching the word and spreading the word as much as he could because the anointing is meant to walk. The anointing is meant to do something. Listen, the gifting the Lord had put into you, what makes you important? What separates you from other? Let us even back up, a, back up a little bit. You see, everybody is important. Everybody is gifted in one way or the other. And the gifting is meant to separate us make us relevant and contribute to the need of man. Man is created to be interdependent. Man is not meant to be alone. So what God had given unto you is meant to benefit me. What God had given unto me is meant to benefit you. But if we don't walk in the understanding of the gifting, then here comes a problem. Praise mighty Jesus. So you are as important as I do. I'm as important as you are. It's just that our timing of importance is different. So don't look down on anyone or don't look with disdain to anyone. Your time is coming. You will not miss your time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look at it this way. When Paul plants an Apollos water, God brings the increase. So Paul plants and steps back and let, let Apollo do his thing. So when Paul is doing his stuff, Apollo too steps back. Everybody will have a chance at the spotlight. And I pray, when the time comes for you, may you not be found lacking in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's go back to what we are talking about. Now, Jesus Christ was anointed and he went about doing good. And when you, when you are in Christ Jesus, that the Lord had put in you begin to manifest. Amen. Now, we want to read from the book of Romans. Romans chapter 12, I would love to read from verse 8, from verse 3 to verse 8. Romans chapter 12, verse 3 to verse 8. For I say, through the grace given to me, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, as God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Everybody has a measure of faith. We just build on the faith. Faith can be built on. But everybody has a measure of faith. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function. So we, being many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Having then give different according to the grace that, that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let's prophesy in the portion of our faith or ministry. Let us use it in our ministering. 
He who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortation, he who gives with liberty, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. Everything the Lord had given unto you is for the body of Christ. You can teach, be diligent in your teaching. You can help, do it cheerfully. You can plan, do it excellently well. Be studied to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that need not to be ashamed. As a Christian, what are we talking today? If you are a Christian, the gifting God had given unto you must come out. You must demonstrate it according to the portion of the grace given unto you for the benefit of mankind. You can't say you are a Christian and you are hiding in a corner. You, you see your neighbor who is in desperate need of an information that you have access to. What will it cost you to give it to them? We are living in a world where we are increasingly becoming selfish. Everybody wants to be celebrated. Not, not, not a bad idea, but not at the expense of someone else. You are important and that's why God had put you where you are. Where the grace that Lord had given unto you is to help people around you. So look for, go around like your master and help people. Put smile in people's faces. Are you able to counsel? Do it well. Are you able to prophesy? Use it as a portion of your faith. Are you able to help people financially? Go ahead. Let God be the one who will reward you, not the accolade of man. I know some men are just men, plain and simple. But you see, the gift God had given us, it is called gift. Why? Because you didn't plan it. He looked at you and endows you with it. Were you there when you were being created? Why would he give you teaching, for example, and give your brother faith? Why would somebody be gifting in medicine and someone in accounting? Praise mighty Jesus. <clears throat> so, beloved, what you have that made you a child of God is meant, he said, in the book of Matthew, he says, let your light so shine. Your light must shine. If your light does not shine, how will people in the darkness see the light? Someone shown the light to you. That's how you could see the way and you are now in the way. The love of God, today, in the series of Are You a Christian? A Christian shines. A Christian radiates. A Christian goes about doing good like his master. Your master, Jesus Christ. My master, Jesus Christ. He was anointed, evidenced by going around doing good. Do your search yapping everywhere that you are anointed. Let us see the fruit of your anointing. After all, the Bible says, by their fruit you shall know them. So I pray for us in conclusion this morning that the grace of the Lord manifests in our life cheerfully in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All that possesses us is blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are a Christian, in this month of Jubilee, spread the good news around. Let everybody, those that sit in darkness, let them see the light. Those that are poor, let them receive comfort. Those that need, just God bless you, are plenty. We are living in a world that is completely under pressure. Man made or otherwise, man is under pressure. We need the manifestations of the, listen, sons of God, you and I. And the manifestation means your light must shine. Your importance must be known. You are not going to force it. Light doesn't, it's not forced to shine. Light just simply shine. Just shine and let Jesus take the glory. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. See you next time. Bye-bye.